Are you sick about having to worry about icing your cooler and having to drain it every other couple days? Are $1,300 Dometic 12 volt fridges out of your budget? Well, then we are in the same boat, but luckily, Set Power sent me a cheap alternative to try out. So, in this video, we get down to testing some real life situations with this Set Power 37 quart TC35. Let's get right into it. So this is the TC35 fridge from Set Power. So this is a 37 quart cooler. So it can hold 58 cans or 26 water bottles or a combination of either or, or a bunch of food. It's sporting a cool black and blue color, which I really like. So the operating temperature of this fridge is 68 degrees all the way down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit. And with a price tag of $285 currently listed on their website, that's a pretty good deal. So the size of this is actually perfect. It fits in most rigs, uh, in the cab, in the back, could fit in vans, cars, uh, SUVs, you name it. Uh, I'll put the actual dimensions on screen right here and uh, you can take a look, see if it fits your rig. So this is the perfect size. If you have a single cab truck, you can pull out the passenger seat and this will lay perfectly in there. One of my favorite features is it actually has a reversible lid. So right now it's this way. You can actually pop this out and flip it and then it'll open this way. The screen's up here, so that's great. So that means no matter what configuration you set this thing up at, you can get in and out of it very easily and still have the screen and buttons right where you need them. It's perfect, I absolutely love it. So it's got a really clear and easy display. It's very easy to read and the buttons are very simple to operate. I do like that, I can appreciate that because when you're on the road, the less stuff you have to fuss around with trying to figure out, the better. Some of the more expensive fridges have apps you can connect to your smartphone and honestly, I'm not into that. I think it's just another pain in the butt to try to worry about. So, simple. Up, down, off. Gotta love it. So two things to mention. If you're doing a lot of off-roading and a lot of off-grid camping, this fridge has a built-in battery protection system that will not kill your battery overnight if you leave it plugged into your truck. So your truck will still start in the morning, which is definitely good. Also, this fridge is capable of operating up to a 30 degree angle, so hill climbs and stuff like that shouldn't be an issue. So this fridge has a three year warranty on the compressor and a one year warranty on the parts. So that will help you sleep easy at night, knowing that if you break it, you can get it fixed. I like that. So this also has some pretty neat features. You have bottle opener on either side. It also comes with soft straps, which are great because they're soft, they don't bang around and smack into things. Super easy to pick up. It's not that heavy and it's actually kind of loaded up right now. So that's, that's definitely a plus. It also comes with wheels you can mount to the bottom. I actually don't have mine on because it fits perfectly in my truck without them. So the noise of a fridge is a very important thing to factor in. If it's too noisy and you're sleeping next to it, it's gonna keep you up all night. So I just turned this thing on using a Jackery 500 watt to power it. Works great, to be honest with you. I don't think this is really that loud. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'll let you uh, take a listen. I have a microphone right here, so let's see if it picks it up. So you can definitely hear the compressor run, but it's, it's not noisy at all. I, I think it's well within tolerance of being sleepable. So during the day whenever I'm driving, this thing's right next to me in the cab, plugged into the 12 volt. At night in that camp, I run a Jackery 500 watt and it works phenomenal. During the day when it's sunny out, I'll plug the solar panels right into this. It'll charge it back up to fully charged and I've yet to have a problem. I'm really happy with how it is. Even right now, it's only pulling 44 watts, which is awesome. So right now, if you buy this fridge, they're gonna send you a free AC adapter, which is pretty awesome. When you get home, you can either pull this thing right out of your rig and plug it right in. Not have to worry about unloading all your condiments like cheeses and ketchups and you know, bacon. I don't know why you'd have leftover bacon because obviously you would eat that. But it's cool you would have that option. It's really useful if, you have, uh, if you're out on the weekend and you got some adult beverages in here, you don't have to worry about unloading them. You can simply just plug it right in and it'll keep it cool until the next weekend. All right, so I'm gonna show you some variations how I have it set up in my truck. First, I'll show you the in-cab setup and then I'll show you the at-night sleeping setup. At-night sleeping setup. All right, so with this configuration, it's super easy just to walk right over, open the door, 
and get right into it. I love that. If it's perfectly in here, I couldn't be happier. Now, if I'm gonna be driving for a while, I'll actually take this lid off and I'll flip it and make it open the other way. So the lid just has these little flat pins on them and they slide right into a little channel. So it takes a little bit of pressure to actually pop them off and a little bit to kind of smack it back on, but I love it. It's my favorite feature of this thing. So at night, it tucks in right beside my bed. I can get to it if I'm thirsty in the middle of the night or if I want to have a few adult beverages. So one thing to always look for when you're buying cheap coolers is to see how good the latch mechanism is. If they're sloppy, uh, if they don't feel like they close right, that's gonna be a problem in the future. So let's check out this one. So, so far it feels really good. Uh, the, the lever feels really, really strong actually. Uh, no slop in it whatsoever. Nice, satisfying close. And that ain't going anywhere. See how the seals are. So it looks like it's being sealed with a rubber O-ring that goes around the perimeter, lands right here on this ledge. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's, that's actually pretty quality. I don't think that's gonna ever give me a problem, really. So far, I'm thrilled with this thing. Let's say you already have a cooler, like I do. You can now take ice packs, put them into your fridge, freeze them, and then put them into your cooler. Now you kind of have two ways to keep things cool and it didn't cost you anything except for the price of the fridge. No more buying ice, no more dumping out water. That's the best. So in conclusion, I think this fridge is well worth the money. For half the price of a Yeti cooler, you can get something that always stays cool. The quality of it so far has been phenomenal. I have no complaints with that so far. One thing that I do wish this cooler had was a light inside the lid. So when you open the lid up, you could actually see at night. Uh, it's an easy thing to overcome. You can get one of those little sticky lights and pop it up on the lid and just turn it on when you go in and out, which is probably what I'll end up doing. But other than that, this thing's great. The quality's fantastic. Uh, it's quiet. So if you're interested in this cooler, I'll put a link down in the description below. Check it out. See if it's something that you could use. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else you could really ask for. Uh, it's better than spending $400 on a Yeti cooler and then buying ice every three days. Well, until next time, I'll see you later or something. <laughs>